What's going on guys? So DJI did release a firmware update yesterday to address some of the microphone issues as well as the overheating issues on the DJI Nano. You can pause the screen and look at it and read it all, but they added support for the DJI Mic 3, but not third-party microphones. And also part of the release notes is optimized power consumption and heat management. So what I'd like to do now is show you guys the results of this new update. So first off, the microphones still do not work uh, third party. Um, I just wanted to test anyway, even though they didn't say that they would uh, add it. But uh, I saw some people left comments in the last video. They said it's the cable. It's not the cable because the same cable and the same microphones work on my uh, Pocket 3 and Action Pro 5. The issue is the Nano just isn't programmed to recognize um, USB-C mics. So I did another overheating test and I did 4K 30. Now I took it off the dock because, now mind you, while you're recording or not recording, the dock continues to charge the camera. So as long as the dock is charging the camera, it's gonna continue to add more heat. The same way if you're playing a video game or uh, doing something graphically intensive on your cell phone, it can get hot as well as when you're charging your phone, even if you're just laying it down and charging it, it can um, not overheat, but it can get warm to the, to the touch. Uh, but aside from that, uh, this camera gets really hot, hotter than any cell phone I've ever touched. You know, there's the warmness from a cell phone, but this camera gets really hot. I'm not saying it burns me, but it's uncomfortably hot. So anyway, I was able to get almost 20 minutes before it overheated, as you can see here. And I know some people may say, hey, it's just a small camera. What do you expect? Well, if I buy a dedicated camera, I expect it to be at least as good as a cell phone. And my Galaxy phones, my iPhones, I can record 4K 30 until it runs out of memory or runs out of battery. I mean, even I can record while charging, you know, all day long. As long as I have memory and battery, it'll continue recording 4K 30. Now, 4K 60 is a little different, of course, that uh, can overheat your phone and stop the recording. I've recorded maybe 45-minute videos with my uh, Galaxy uh, S24 in 4K 60. And this is something you do want to consider when you're deciding whether to go with the Ultra or the Nano. The Ultra, I've seen people record hour-long 4K 60 videos without it overheating. Now, I would prefer to record 4K 60 all the time simply because it gives me more options whether to use slow-mo at a later time um, and things like that, but I can live with 4K 30. Um, I mean, I, even in the Nano, I have a, uh, it's the 128 gig and I also have a terabyte uh, micro SD card in it. And um, so I went ahead and did another test just for giggles, recording at 4K 30 with the dock attached, uh, which does add more heat. But I just want to give you an example of what you can expect if you're recording with it in, still in the dock. Now, mind you, I did wait at least 30 minutes to allow the camera to cool back down. So I want to go ahead and show you what this latest firmware can do as far as recording with the Nano connected to the dock. Of course, the dock, you want to be able to maximize the length of the video. I mean, unless you're in water, you know, for the most part, you, you're probably going to have it, your camera in the dock so they can continue to charge. But if you're going to do a bunch of jump cuts, really short one, two, three minute clips, you're, you'll be fine. But if you're going to walk and talk or vlog 10, 20 minutes, I would suggest, uh, if you just have to buy this camera, I would suggest having a backup camera, a Pocket 3, Action 5 or something in your, as a backup, um, because you can't really expect to use this uh, very long. You'll see it overheat here. All right, so this shows you as you're using the camera and the dock is pumping juice into the Nano camera itself. You know, you just pretty much want to always have 100% battery before you start recording because let's say the camera's at 20% and you want to record something, you know, you got to hope that it charges up enough before the camera starts overheating because once it starts overheating, 
it gives you a bit of a third element to worry about when you're recording. Do I have enough memory? Do I have enough juice? And is my camera gonna overheat in the middle of a shoot? But I wanna show you where the recording stopped because that's the most important part. It's one thing for it to not be able to charge, but if you can't even get your footage, you know, in an important event is happening and you, my biggest fear is pulling out my camera and it's telling me that it's overheating or something's going on I'm recording and it stops recording in the middle of something spectacular happening. I mean, of course you can just whip out your phone or something like that, but you just never know when it's going to cut off, but you can definitely feel it when it gets hot, you know, you'll feel it. And then you might just want to stop recording before it even gives you the message. So with the camera connected to the dock, I was able to get about 13 minutes before it overheated and stopped recording. So just something to keep in mind. I'm not saying this is a bad camera, but this is something that you want to keep in mind if you're trying to record long 30 minute videos. This is not the camera, but if you're going to record short clips, I think you'll be just fine for now. Uh, but, you know, I'll definitely um, keep checking for newer updates. Um, I, I, I can only imagine that it'll get better over time. I think uh, DJI has already acknowledged that there is an overheating issue and people are complaining. So, you know, we'll see what happens in the next few weeks, a few months or so. So anyway, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Peace.